1016, the business meeting of the 74th World Science Fiction Convention will come to order. I'm Jared Dashoff, I'm your presiding officer. To my right is Tim, In Tim Illingworth, he's the deputy presiding officer. To my left is Linda Denoff, she's our secretary. To her left is Donald Eastlake, he is the parliamentarian. And to the far right is Lisa Hertel, she is our timekeeper, she will keep you on time. Uh, in the back is our head videographer, Lisa Hayes, and her assistant, Kevin Stanley. You will note by the signs and the fact that I just introduced a videographer that we are recording this meeting um, and that your presence and voice may be on the recording. The recordings will be loaded, uploaded to the WISPIS events channel on YouTube as quickly as possible. Um, and thanks to SFSFC for providing um, equipment or funds to get the recordings online and to Wizards Tower for providing equipment to do the high resolution versions of the video. Uh, some procedural notes, if you didn't already, please pick up uh, the papers in the back and sign in. Please silence any of your cell phones, beepers, pagers, phasers, um, what have you. Cart services are available on that side of the room thanks to funding from DETCON 1. Um, and if you do want to come up and speak, please speak into the microphone, face the audience, but direct your speech to the chair. We're going to do section by section. Um, now for an overview of this week. Today is the preliminary business meeting. We are going to set the agenda, set debate times, take committee reports and resolutions, and get nominations for the WISFIS Mark Protection Committee. Tomorrow, Friday, in the same room at 10 o'clock in the morning, didn't you hear about this? <laughs> Back up. Um, tomorrow we will start off with the Mark Protection Committee election, and then we will begin debate and votes on constitutional amendments, beginning with those uh, awaiting ratification and then moving on forward. On Saturday, the first order of business is the site selection results for both the 2018 Worldcon and the 2017 NASVIC, and then we will continue with whatever we didn't get through on Friday. And on Sunday, if we still have stuff to debate, we will be in this room for as long as it takes us to get through everything. <laughs> so today we are required to set a uh, debate time for all of the motions that have been submitted, th both those uh, waiting ratification and those that are awaiting first passage. Uh, any amendments are in order on items that are up for first passage. No amendments are in order on items uh, awaiting ratification. So anything that was passed on from either Shikon or Sasquan cannot be amended at this meeting. And any items referred... <laughs> Is there a problem? <laughs> Any items referred back to committee or to committee must report back tomorrow. Um, I will suggest a time for debate for each of the uh, motions currently submitted. They will be noted on the slides on that side of the room in red. Um, if there's no objection to those times, we can just move forward with them. That goes quickly. <laughs> If there is an objection, we will take suggestions. We really ask that they are even number suggestions for the benefit of the timekeeper who has to divide that time in half. Um, and we'll start with the highest number and work our way down. The first number getting a majority of those in favor will be the debate time for that motion. So if you want, for example, two minutes, you have to vote against four minutes. Uh, 
We will then move on to committee reports and resolutions. We can vote on any resolutions coming out of committee today. Any motions arising out of a committee report will actually be voted on at one of the main business meetings. Um, and after the committee report for the Mark Protection Committee, we will take nominations for that committee. There are two motions in order today that are not in order other days. They are postponed indefinitely, which kills the motion for this year. Um, it's not um, allowed for items up for ratification, but it is allowed for new business. Uh, there is a debate time of four minutes split evenly between those in favor and those against, and it requires a two-thirds vote in favor to postpone. There is also the object to consideration, which is a little bit of a heavier hammer. Um, also kills the motion for this year. There is no debate on that motion, but it um, requires a three-quarters vote in favor to um, not bring up that motion. So, now we get to the fun part. The business passed on to us by Shai Khan and Sasquan. Question of privilege, Mr. Chairman? No. Mr. Stanley. Mr. Chairman, because the meeting is being recorded and the recordings are mostly going through our sound system here, I would like to ask that any person standing to, uh, to speak in debate or to raise questions of privilege such as the one that I just raised come to the microphone and state it if they can possibly do so or that the chairman restate the question of privilege so that the recording has it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so now we will move on to the business passed on to us beginning with the, motion, the business passed on by Shai Khan. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I want to make a very brief remark. Uh, we're about to set debate times. And if people have a mental model Can't that. Hear you. Uh, I just wanted to make a very brief remark. We're about to set the debate times. If people have a mental model that the sum of the debate time should equal the session time, that model, in my opinion, is incorrect. <laughs> There's a large dilation factor due to miscellaneous things, time between motions, time for people walking up, and so on and so forth. So I urge people to be conservative, i.e., small numbers for debate time. <laughs> She raised her hand first. Uh, I also have a uh, question uh, for parliamentary inquiry. If we wish to suggest the order of items to discuss be changed, is that for today? And if so, how? It is if you have a specific piece of business that you would like to move uh, either up, down, we can't do sideways. Um, bring that up when that motion comes up for debate time setting. Um, if you want to do a group, I would say wait until the first one comes up and then we'll handle it that way. So, yes, on the end. Thank you. Uh, brief question. You, um, just for a note, the camera will not catch anybody that way. So if you can, please do come to the podium. I know it takes a little bit longer, but. Thank you. Uh, oh, and stay here. If you come to the podium, please do give the secretary your name. I forgot that. It will make doing the minutes a lot easier. You can do it before or after um, you speak. Right. Uh, my name is Jay. Uh, fast question of parliamentary procedure. I was a little unclear as to the second method of voting. Serpentine, I understand. The first uncounted method is just if no one objects, we move forward. What is kind of the first and the second methods? Um, we will raise, do a count, uh, raise hands. So those in favor will raise their hands. Those against, I will count them. Those against will raise their hands. I will count them and then we'll uh, go from there on the basis of the, yeah, it's rough count. Oh, so then